five reasons not to buy the CA Corvette Z06 Coupe. Don't say I didn't warn you. Let's go. Howdy, folks. You want to see going to Speed 252 show? Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's up ladies and gentlemen, we are on the MS Solutions website where you can win yourself this beautiful 2024 Corvette Z06 plus $20,000. This bad boy is awesome. I can tell you right now, the Z06 is absolutely amazing. This white Corvette Z06 with red calipers and black wheels look awesome in your garage while helping people diagnose with multiple sclerosis. I'm sure that we have all known someone that's been diagnosed with this in our lifetime. And here's a great cause to be a part of. You get an opportunity to donate to an amazing cause to win yourself a 2024 Corvette Z06 plus $20,000. And I'm telling you right now, there's a high chance you can actually win this car because if you enter, it gives you a chance to win. But the 100% guaranteed is you are actually having out a good cause, which is something that is also very important as well. Again, click that link down in my description below or my pinned comment section. As you can see at the top, Seagull on a 25 will get you 25 more bonus entries for your money. And actually for this drawing will give you a greater chance to win. Good luck. And if you win, let's get our Z06s together and have an awesome, amazing cruise. Let's go! Five reasons why you should get the C8 Corvette convertible instead of the coupe. So let's go ahead and hop into the video and not waste any more time. As you guys can see, this is my convertible and I'm gonna tell you right now, I was not sold on the convertible when it first came out. I was not. I was a coupe guy through and through. If you go back and look at some of my old videos, my first Stingray was totally a coupe, but now I'm a convertible man all day. And the number one reason why I think you should get a convertible is because it looks more exotic than the coupe. Now, the nacelle stands out and it looks absolutely phenomenal, man. I can tell you right now, the convertible gives you a lot more exotic peel. When I'm driving down the road, when I'm at a grocery store, anywhere out and about, people literally get this thing confused with whatever exotic car they have a dream of owning at some point. And these nacelles stands out and make these body lines look a lot better than it does in a coupe. And for everybody got a coupe, I'm not against the coupe at all, because like I said, I used to own it. But I think the convertible, then the convertible just, it gives me a little bit more mm factor than the coupe does. I mean, look at it, you guys. The convertible is just so much more appealing than the coupe, and it gives you that true exotic feel. Now, don't get me wrong, the coupe definitely gives you that exotic feel too, but not like the convertible does. Number two, the number two reason why I think you should get the convertible is because you get an opportunity to use this back window. This back window does not go down on a coupe. From my experience of owning a coupe, I wish it would have gone down, but it didn't because it's also connected to the engine bay area in a sense where if it was to go down, that whole glass, you would feel the heat in the inside. But with this bad boy, you get an opportunity to roll this window down and still have the top up and gives you that like outside feeling where you can hear the wind when you're driving the car, you can hear the motor a lot louder, and it gives you just an opportunity to enjoy what it's like owning a hardtop convertible with the window down that slides down in the back. Number three reason why I think you should own the convertible instead of the coupe is because the easy factor of not getting out of the car and having to put the top back on. I've owned that 2020 coupe for about, what, two years, I believe. And there was days when I was like, oh, I'm super excited to take the top off. And there was days like, oh, I have to take the top off. Even though I wanted to take the top off, it was just one of those things where I either had to take it off before getting in the car. Or when I would drive out and about somewhere, I would have to get out of the car, then take the top off, then put it back. Now, that's an easy thing to do, but it's still, again, you're paying a crap ton for a car and you have to get out of the car, unlatch the tops for the latch, and then put the top in the trunk, close it down, get back in the car, and then go about your day. Give this video a thumbs up. Anywhere on your phone, screen, or tablet, 
hit that subscribe button so you become part of this awesome community hit that bell notification right beside it anyone your screen phone or tablet so you can alert anytime one of my video comes out and join me on the road to 100,000 subscribers at some point and it's just one of those things where it's an inconvenience if you're driving your car all day and it's a daily drive for one say for instance you're going to the grocery store your top is off you get your grocery store, you got to put your top back on and then you go into the store get your groceries out put in the car you got to put the top back on before you go in the store and you got to take it back off if you want to do it again the weather you know is nice outside but all of a sudden it starts pouring down raining and you have no clue where this rain came from because the forecast said that it wasn't going to rain today now you have to get out of the car get the top out of the trunk put the top back on the car and then go about your merry way see it's just a lot more convenient if you got the convertible because you get an opportunity to just slow down not get out of the car and push this button right that button right there and it's just easy it's just that simple right and i just really like the fact that it's convenient and let's be honest we all like conveniency that's just how we are in our life let's be honest Amazon two-day prime has messed the world up because now we just want things done instantly And I can guarantee you there's a lot of people who own that coupe That don't like getting out of that car pretty often and take the top off and put it back on That's just a thing that I experienced when I own the coupe nothing wrong with the coupe I just think that's one of the reasons why you should get a convertible now another thing about the convertible is it makes the kids happy to truly see how easy this thing goes up and down look at this factor this is such an easy thing to do and i'm standing outside the car i'm not even inside the car and i get the opportunity to do this right so i can be in a grocery store walking towards my car and easily be doing this and kids will be thinking man that's a transformer car oh man that's bumblebee look how awesome and easy that was you literally get to do that by this button you just hold this button hold that button and now you get an opportunity to do that standing outside your car so all i have to do is just walk in that bad boy and let's face it let's face it i'm a guy right and if there's a bunch of hot ladies outside and i got on a nice three-piece suit and i'm walking up towards my car and i just hit that unlock button and hit the other button the women gonna be like dang man you're looking kind of snazzy but let's say for instance i'm walking to my car right beautiful ladies outside i want the top down now instead i'm gonna have to walk to my car whoop, whoop, unlatch it unlatch it unlatch it take the top off bring it to the trunk place it in the trunk and bring it back down i just put on a whole show for the crowd right that's just an inconvenience thing and i experienced that before too you know it's just if you a guy that don't like taking your top off that often or you're a woman that don't like taking your top off that often i get it the coupe is for you but if you're someone that lives out in florida someone that lives out in la california and you like taking the top down the convertible is just the best thing to go because i just feel like this car i mean it's expensive right these corvettes are expensive where you buy stingray e-ray z0601 no matter what kind of car it is even if you got a c7 convertible or coupe they're expensive but it don't it doesn't look right having to unlatch the top multiple places carry it to the trunk and then put it in the trunk and then go about your day and then get out again pull it out of the trunk and put it back on it's just not convenient in my personal opinion so you know with all those reasons i truly believe the convertible is the best way to go if you want to avoid having to get out of your car get the top out of the trunk and put it back on that's just again a personal preference nothing wrong with the coupe because i've owned the coupe before and I would go back to a coupe, but I just think the convertible just look a little bit better to me. That's just my personal opinion. Guys, leave your comments down below and your thoughts on that. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button anywhere in your phone, screen, or tablet. And become part of this awesome community. And I will catch you guys, yes, in another episode of See You Gonna Speed 252. Is your seat bed fast? All right. Let's go.